Hello YouTube, it's William. Welcome to another Whittle Talk. We'll try to do this right quick um, before I melt. <laughs> if the van's running it's too loud to make a video. If it's not running then, then it gets hot in the shop. So, uh, trying to uh, sum up in just a few words the benefits uh, and, and that I see in different grinds of the knife. Basically, we're, we're talking about uh, cutting versus slicing power. There's a difference. Um, in a nutshell, the, the cutting power comes from the actual edge, the primary edge. That is the, the part that, that cuts your finger. If you touch it, that's, that's the edge I'm talking about. That's where your cutting power comes from. And what dictates that is the thickness of that apex right there. The secondary apex before it goes into the to the uh, the uh, secondary bevel is what determines if it is a good cutter or not. Now what determines if it's going to slice or not is the thickness of the blade. Now whether that, that transition comes at a saber, a scandy, a convex or no matter what that grind is the thickness of that blade and how that blade is proportioned determines whether it's a good slicer or not okay so let me uh, let me reposition the camera and I'll give you a demonstration of, of what I'm talking about okay so hang with me just a second alright now I've got uh, four blades here and uh, this one is a full flat and all of them are eighth inch steel, uh, so the thickness, the blade thickness is irrelevant. It's the grinds that we're testing. This one is a full flat. This one here is a, a convex. Now it would be the same thing uh, as a scandivex. Uh, it would be the same thing as, as basically a, um, a uh, scandy grind. You're, you're going to have a pinch point right here at the top of the, at top of the, uh, the uh, grind. Um, now, one thing that I will say about a convex, either it's a scandivex or a convex blade, the benefits of it is the cutting power. The cutting power of a convex is far superior to anything else. And the reason I say that is because it does not have, a true convex does not have an apex at the secondary bevel. It is all pure to the, uh, it's a zero grind, if you will. So you have a better cutting performance from a convex okay where you lose benefit in a convex is the slicing power and I'll demonstrate that how you de uh, determine whether your knife is a good slicer or not get something that is very thick such as this 8 to 9 ounce leather something that's rigid uh, this will give you an idea of whether it's a good slicer or not Good slicers are full flats. I'll give you a little hint there. Uh, kitchen knives that slices onions and carrots and things that are rigid without cracking them or busting them is uh, full flat for a reason. It's because they slice better than anything else. Okay, and I'll, I'll demonstrate how that works. Okay, so first of all, let me use a full flat. And, and show you how, see how it just cuts, there's, there's very little to bind the blade. The blade is not in a bind, it is just a, a straight V. Okay, now if you look at the convex, see it slices, but it, it's, see how the blade, the, the leather is wanting to twist? is because it's hitting the apex of that grind right here about middle of the blade is hitting that. And the same thing will happen if you're trying to slice through wood, a stick, or whatever, that blade is, want to, is going to want to bind at that point. Now does it slice? Oh man. It cuts, it cuts beautifully. Okay? A convex will probably, well there ain't no probably to it, a convex will cut better than anything out there. It's the slicing portion that, that where it it um, it doesn't shine as well. 
Okay, same thing with, with a, a saber. Um, you're going to bind at that transition right there where that, where that blade goes thicker. And this blade is not sharpened, it just came out of heat treat. It's the only saber I had available right now. So it's not going to slice very well. But if I, I take it and put it in this same slice, you'll be able to see how it does just like the convex does. Okay? Now, the Scandi is even going to be worse than that because it is closer to the edge. Whereas this one has a little bit of travel for whatever you're cutting, traveling up that, that V grind. This one doesn't have as far to go, so it's going to pinch quicker. Okay? Now, if you use a Scandi at a zero grind, it's just like the convex. It has tremendous cutting power, but it lacks in slicing power. So there's a difference. Okay? This is slicing. Cutting is when you're not going past the apex. You're just using the very edge, the sharp portion, that portion that cuts you. That's, that's cutting power. Now, if that's the only thing you're interested in and you're not trying to slice through wood or anything else, then a Scandi is a beautiful, beautiful grind. Okay? You run into problems when you're trying to slice through things because the blades bind. All right? So, now, with that said, and I'm doing this blind. I'm hoping I get everything in the camera here. Um, with that said, it, it's, everything is a trade-off. It's a trade-off between cutting power to slicing power to strength. Uh, I mean, it's common sense that the more steel you leave on the blade, the stronger the blade's going to be. That's just a common sense thing. Um, the less steel you take off of it, then, um, like I said, the stronger it's going to be. But the the smoother the transition is along that blade, the better slicing it will it will do. Okay? Now, with that said, a lot of people has asked, well, if, if I'm going to do a batoning and things like that, I should get a, a Scandi or a Convex. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, batoning, it depends on technique and also the materials available in your area. If um, if you if the only woods in your area is very twisted and knotty and things like that, then yes, you probably want a fairly robust knife. Uh, or if you wanted to, to do the one tool option and not carry an axe, then you would probably want to go with something that, that is either a saber or a scandy, maybe even bump it up to a 3 16 blade. Um, me personally, um, I prefer the thinner blades at the most, uh, eighth inch. Uh, I do have some 532nds full flats that I use quite a bit. I do have one big chopper, that's the hog's tooth, that is a, a, a saber. Uh, it's a high saber, um, but um, and it, it cuts it, it, it cuts okay. Um, uh, slicing part, I mean, it's not a slicer. Uh, it, it's not designed for that. So. You have, to, you have to take all of this into consideration, and I, and I hope I explained the difference between cutting power and slicing power. So if you want to try this, take a thick piece of leather at home, and if you've got some different blades with different grinds that are the same thickness so that you get an equal response and they're all about the same sharpness, then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. If that doesn't matter to you, if strength is what's important to you, then go with a thicker blade a Scandi maybe, or a Sabre, whatever you prefer. The bottom line is everyone must try knives and select the knife that best fits them and their area. That is, that is the bottom line of anything I can tell you. If somebody tells you that this is better than this, then it may be for their area, but it may not be for you. So you have to get out and you have to try these things. You have to, you have to determine which one is, uh, is best suited for you. Okay? So, with that said, you guys got to get out in the backyard, whittle on a stick, take different grinds with you, take full flats, candies, and you can get you can get uh, these full flats and candies and 
and very reasonable blades. You don't have to go out and buy custom blades for all these different grinds to determine what's best. I mean, get you a Mora. Um, Mora even has a full flat blades too, if you if you look on their sites. Um, there's some some reasonably priced uh, convex knives uh, that that you could try out and see if that's what's uh, best suited for you. Of course, everybody has sabers now. So, just to wrap up, the cutting power comes from the apex on the secondary bevel. That's where your cutting power comes from. Thickness at your secondary bevel of the blade. Slicing power comes from the thinness of the overall blade, including the spine. If you don't have, if you have a smooth transition, there's nothing for that, that or less for that material to bind on. Okay, so I hope I hope all of that makes sense. I, I hope I explain that to where that um, to where it makes sense. <laughs> so until the next one, you guys be safe. Uh, try these things out. Uh, if you do, take plenty of band aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.